Right, it's time for the talking to stop now. The biggest game of the season when Rangers can make it eight in a row, where Aberdeen could blow the championship race wide open. Match commentator Jerry McNee. Walter Smith on the day he can equal Bill Struth's record of five straight championships in his own right as manager has summed it up. Our most crucial match of the season. Rangers going, of course, as well for eight in a row, and Smith, of course, has uh, been involved in all of them. A tremendous atmosphere has built up here at Ibrox, a full house, of course, 47,000 people expected in the stadium. Many of them here, as you can see, to enjoy themselves. Lovely sunny day. So let's have a look, another look at the teams. Rangers, first of all, as expected, in the field, the experienced lineup, which did such a solid job at Mullerwell last week. Trevor Stephen will again fill the right area with uh, Jury ahead of him, supporting Anderson. Ali McCoist is on the bench if required. And a look at uh, Aberdeen. Well, the Dons uh, make a couple of changes from uh, the team which drew with Hearts last week at the Todd rate. Gary Smith and Billy Dodds come back at the expense of Woodthorpe and Shearer. Alongside me, once again this afternoon, is Charlie Nicholas. Yes, good afternoon, Jerry. Good afternoon, everyone. I must admit that the conditions are perfect for a game like today. Pitch is in excellent condition. And I think there's the majority of this, this ground's ready to pass you, Jerry. Quite remarkable, Charlie. All these months on, just a point separating Rangers and Celtic at kickoff. Yes, it's been a sensational season. With Celtic doing us a lot of favours in terms of at least pushing Rangers all the way in the title this season. I've seen some tremendous football also from Celtic and Rangers. Every time it comes to the crunch games, Rangers never disappoint anyone. They always seem to get the results. And of course, Rangers do have uh, nine goals uh, to their credit as well over Celtic. Yeah, they do. I think every time. I mean, Celtic look back with disappointment, probably, possibly after this match today. But Rangers have done it whenever called upon. They've scored more goals. They've been quite ruthless in some of the games this season. But also, when you have players like Gascoigne and Loudrop who can entertain, you know, you've, you've got a very strong team there. I mean, you just said there that they've shown this great desire and it was very much in evidence uh, last week in a, a match at Mullerwell where people thought Rangers yeah. would drop points. I think that was the one that we all had question marks against. You felt that maybe they were going to slip up and they'd be Mullerwell. But they just gone, mate. They got an early goal from Stuart McCall and suddenly they, they, looked, they never looked back. They just went on and wrapped the game up and never looked in any danger. And I would expect they'll be looking for the same thing today, an early goal to calm them down. Well, we can see the uh, Rangers players uh, lining up in the tunnel. And really, you know, the Rangers, uh, Rangers side is strong now as it's perhaps been all season. Yeah, I would think Mark Cately, I would agree with Mark, I think this is probably the strongest team. The only debate would maybe be McCoyst and, and Anderson. But Anderson is on a high, six goals in four games. He's confident, so Rangers looking strong. So they're moving forward now, and just listen to this. Tremendous uh, welcome for Rangers. Aberdeen coming out uh, in front of their very small support. That's a uh, ticker tick welcome for Rangers, led out by Richard Goff, who's chasing his eighth consecutive championship medal. What a tremendous record. So it's going to be a big afternoon for the referee and linesman. The man in charge this afternoon is Les Mottram from 4th and Lanarkshire. And uh, he's Scotland's representative at Euro 96, along with today's linesman Bobby Orr from Kilbarkin and John Fleming from Glasgow. And the fourth official is Hugh Dallas from Mullerwell, who is the cup final referee. Well, this is Les Mottram's 10th uh, Premier League game of the season. And uh, for a highly experienced official, you'd like to see him handling more of these matches. Four of them, incidentally, have involved Rangers, including their 1-0 win at Pataudry last October. Well, there is great controversy goes on, Charlie, that uh, a lot of people believe that the top referees should handle the top matches. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Playing in the second division, you're, you're only too aware when the top names come down and, and referee the games, you wonder who's going to be doing the, the top games on that weekend. But Les is a man uh, who won't be messed about. 
if you give him any nonsense early doors, he won't hesitate in giving you the yellow card. And he, he thinks if he gets a, a grip of the game early on, it calms itself down. Well, he certainly hasn't had to use a red card in his Premier Division matches this season, although he has booked uh, Paul Gascoigne. And Gascoigne, of course, will be trying very hard today to stay out of any trouble because, as we heard earlier, uh, one booking puts him out of the Scottish Cup final. But this is a bigger match than anything else. Of that, there is no doubt. And there's no doubt that Aberdeen's recent away record has been poor. The last win coming at Tynecastle uh, way back in February 10th. So they've got a lot to do here today in front of an intimidating audience. And no doubt uh, the survivors from 1991 will remember what they had to go through that day. One of them, uh, goalkeeper Michael Watt. Uh, Walter Smith has been asking all week for the Rangers support to get right behind the team and uh, recreate the atmosphere of that day five years ago when Rangers won by two goals to nil. Two goals by our studio guest. Mark Catelet. But Aberdeen certainly won't want a repeat of the humiliation they suffered at Celtic Park a few weeks ago when they lost by five goals to nil. And I spoke to some of the Rangers players yesterday and to uh, Walter Smith this morning. And there's no doubt about it, uh, the nerves are there, as you would expect. But they are fully focused. They know the importance of this afternoon. Celtic have chased them so hard. And yet Rangers have responded to every challenge. And in fact, the games at Kutodre, and they had to go there and battle very hard. And they won both of them by the narrowest of margins. And one goal to nil. And the six points they picked up there have helped put them in this position today. But destiny lies in their own hands. Here's John Brown looking for Anderson well Anderson's made a terrific contribution six goals in six games since arriving from Alberg and it's John Brown oh, but tries to get the touch there and here comes Robertson this is McKimmy going to be hugely influential in fact I remember Aberdeen losing him injured in one of the matches against Rangers and uh, the Don's defence really struggled thereafter and here's Gordon Jury who was in splendid form last week at uh, Fir Park and is really pushing for a place in the Scotland squad and he uh, wins the corner kick yeah good play from Trevor Stephen using his, his experience here a nice pass to Jury and now he's starting to put the pressure on Aberdeen and uh, Goff and McLaren push into the Aberdeen area Balls for Stuart McCall, who struck early last week. Here's Robertson getting cover across the back four area as the Rangers push players forward. And uh, Windus uh, quickly challenged. But, uh, that ball goes behind for the goal kick. You can see the determination of Stuart McCall. As uh, Windus picked up the ball, McCall was right on to him, challenging. Yeah, they won't. He won't give Aberdeen a minute in the ball if they possibly can. They'll try and harass him and try and get this early goal in the first 20-25 minutes to calm them down. And I think if they can get that first goal, they'll probably take and start to dominate the game from there. Also important for Aberdeen to try and go on the ball as much as they can. And the referee's uh, unhappy about something. And he's telling over... That's the early lecture I was warning you about before kickoff. Here's Gaspar. That's Robertson. Anderson. This is Dodge now for Aberdeen, but again, Stuart McCall is in there. And it's Trevor Stephen. McLaren gets a touch to Loudrup. Trevor Stephen is uh, wide right. And uh, Loudrup trying to pick him out there. It's Gary Smith. 
Getting away from Loudrup, persistent play by Gary Smith. He only has Dodge in the middle. He's perhaps just run that too far ahead. And the sliding challenge is in in any case. Great run from Gary Smith. I think he's mainly put in the left back position, Jerry. To combat the Trevor Stephen and Brian Loudrup situation for defensive reasons mainly. But he bust out, great run there. Of course, Jury will push down that flank as well, whenever possible. So he's going to have a lot of work on his hands, but looking forward quite effectively there. This is Loudrop, showing good pace and control. But, uh, only Anderson was ahead of him. So the midfield is uh, tightly packed at the moment. And this is Windus for Aberdeen. Good by Bernard. Windus again. Head up in Booth. Rawson. Now it's McKinney. Now Booth who is so good at uh, making these runs. It's into the wide areas. And he gets in the cross, but uh, in the end, there's no one there to take advantage. And it's an easy one for only Gorham. They also for, for Booth. I think the two Aberdeen players, I think he'll try and influence this game are Windass and Booth. Booth to try and prove his fitness for their championships. And Windass, who's done well since he's came to Aberdeen. But I think in the big games, like the Celtic Rangers games, he's been a little disappointed. Well, McKimmy there, almost caught by Bo Anderson. This is Lawson. Booth uh, flattered there by Richard Goff. That's a free kick, and Richard Goff will have to be careful because, apart from Gascoigne, uh, Goff is also on the verge of missing the cup final. But uh, as we said earlier, this is such a huge match for Rangers. So Rangers ball. And, uh, Scott Booth doesn't look too happy about the decision. Fires it forwards, looking for a logo, but it's uh, headed away by Ingalls. This is Windus. Rosen. Got there by Roberts, and that's Gascoigne. And he uh, gets a free kick. And Gascoigne showing great confidence uh, deep inside his own half. Uh, challenged there illegally by Dean Windus. He just wants the ball, Gascoigne, he'll take it in any area. He never ever hides from it, he always makes an angle, even in the deepest and the tightest of, of spaces. He just wants on the ball all the time. This is Goff. Long one for Fury to chase. It's uh, Edwin who goes across to provide the cover. This is Fury. On a kick, so once again, Gordon Jury gets range of the corner in these uh, early stages. Just coming up for uh, eight minutes of the match. There's uh, Trevor Stephen, now he got in across uh, with his left last week to see up one of the goals. This is McCall, gets a return from Goff. Gascoigne, loads up wide. Still it's Gascoigne, through for Anderson, that's a good ball. Drives it through, it takes a deflection. Paul battling again. It's a wee by McKinney. This is Booth. Booth did well, they're under pressure. Touch from Windus. Who now for Dodge. Sabadina getting players forward here. Booth on the right hand side. Rousen through the middle. Windus is arriving as well. The shot is in there from Billy Dodge. And not a bad effort. But uh, Aberdeen getting players forward there in some numbers. In the end, Dodge decided to have a blast himself. Just a warning for Rangers. They're not going to get it all their own way. And uh, that's uh, brought to Roy Itkin out onto the track side. It's a good play from Windass initially. He's involved again. He started get, the game quite promisingly for him. Sweeping out to the left and suddenly Aberdeen had numbers going forward. Good break. Here, absolutely packed, and uh, hundreds of people 
outside hoping against hope for tickets well, certainly Aberdeen have made a better start to this game than they did to the one against uh, Celtic at Parkhead where they were caught after just a couple of minutes by a Simon Donnelly head up and of course the longer it takes Rangers to break them down the more the pressure will build on the home side But uh, the crowd will show the necessary patience. And here's a man who never misses the big parties, John Brown. Takes a return from Loudrop. It's off. Brown puts it through, looking for Robertson. He's away again. And the challenge goes in. It's a corner kick. It was Brian Urban who came across. But again, great pace from David Robertson, it's not to 60, isn't it, in a few seconds, speeding forward on that left-hand side, and that gets the crowd going again, and once again McLaren is there with Goff, Anderson is practically on the goal line, it's played shot by Gascoigne to McCall, well, Trevor Stephen had uh, found himself a bit of space to McCall's right and uh, was looking for the ball. That's from Goff. No, it's McCall. Getting away from Dodds and Windus. This is Anderson. Trevor Stephen's on the right-hand side. And uh, that goes out and it's a range of ball. Indicates the referee. Goff's up there. McCall gets a touch. On by Gascoigne. And uh, Irvin intercepts. And now it's a uh, glass. Getting away from Jury. Move for Dodds. He controls it well in a tight situation. Good play by Stephen Glass. Bernard, Stuart McKimmy's in space on the right hand side of the field as it's played to Irvin, here's Windus, McKimmy's still got a bit of space but Robertson's coming to shut him down, in comes John Brown, and that's the way to do it on such occasions, no messing about, they want to keep the pressure out of their own half, Aberdeen, he started very brightly, defending well, looking be better organised than we seen him at Celtic Park a few weeks ago, also looking fairly confident in the ball. The tension is in the air with the Rangers supporters. They want that goal, and Aberdeen given nothing away so far. Well, I think the reason that uh, Walter Smith has stuck with John Brown these last uh, few weeks is that, uh, apart from Petridge's injury, you just saw there that uh, he stands in no ceremony. If there is a problem, get it away. I think he also likes a party at the end of the day, I know, Jerry. He always seems to be running about, doesn't he? But it's uh, certainly not a day for uh, Petric uh, dwelling on the ball. Uh, there are enough uh, frayed nerves out there in the pitch and uh, all around this stadium. Here's Gascoigne. That's uh, Trevor Stephen. Now this is another player that uh, comes back to the parties as well and uh, scored a championship winner at Tannadice a number of years ago. So much experience coming back into the side at exactly the right time. It's off to McLaren. And for Stephen. Lightup starts a run. Last goes with him. and turning and uh, it goes behind it for the corner kick so Rangers forcing a few corners and 
this opening spell, just over 14 minutes gone, and uh, still no scoring here at Ibrook Stadium. Once again, the Rangers skipper is forward, and once again, he's joined by Alan McLaren. And uh, they've managed eight goals between them. And the two defenders are always a threat at the set pieces, especially when this man's swinging the ball a bit. Goff goes in for it, Devlin's there, and uh, both players take a knock as McCall tries the effort that both uh, Goff and uh, Irvin will require some treatment. And they both went for the corner from Paul Gascoigne. Uh, Goff seems to be okay, but uh, Irvin certainly seemed to take the brunt of it as they both climbed for the ball. Well, it's so typical of these two defenders, isn't it? Goff determined to get there, big Brian Irvin, as stubborn as ever. Defended really well in the first part of this match, Brian Irvin. Knows it, Goff is coming in behind him, prepared to take a knock. There you see it. Yeah. Two of them, so bloody, all the way. So that's 15 minutes gone here. There's still no scoring, but a sickening clash of heads there as uh, the two defenders went for that corner kick. And of course, uh, the referee must stop the game and uh, the flow of blood must be stopped as well. Otherwise, the players will have to leave the field. Uh, for further treatment. It's mainly a flesh wound to these two. These two have had so many of these over their career. Every week they probably get these. So Brian Irvin is having to leave the field. To golf still receiving treatment. You can see how keen he is to get on with things. And uh, doing a bit of uh, do-it-yourself first aid. Picks up his uh, defensive station. Irvin is off. And Aberdeen will have to just reorganise for the moment. And a chance now for uh, Rangers to take advantage. That was Goff starting that off. So just uh, nine shutouts this season, six of them coming at Pataudry. He's almost a decade with the Dons now. And it's just recently he's managed to make himself number one. Let's go. Let's go. Well, if we kick to the Dons. Go. John Ingalls has moved forward. And they got him. On anxiously, McKimmy makes a run inside the box. It's away by Brown, picked up by Jury. Gascoigne just drops that one there and across towards Trevor Stephen. Well pass by McLaren across to David Robertson. That's McCall. Well, got calls for it. Through now for Robertson, he's away again, delivers the early cross, and it's Stephen Glass who whips it away, with Gordon Jury coming in on the far side, well again, the combination of Wardrop on and Robertson, the early cross from him, Jury was coming in and Glass responded, it's yet another corner kick, two Rangers, Gascoigne who strikes it, the goalkeeper commits himself and really toiled at that one didn't look, look that difficult a ball for him some nerves there from him and uh, Rangers coming close again so Richard Goff claims that uh, he was impeded so Gascoigne sending the ball in and uh, the goalkeeper really making a bit of a meal of that uh, to watch the replay Brian Irvin uh, has come back onto the field. So Loudrup sent that one in there. Goff was coming in. So too was Anderson. And uh, Goff felt that uh, Rangers should have got something out of that. 
but it's Aberdeen now pushing forward they're back to full strength this is Rosen McKimmy it's blocked by Brown and that's a corner to Aberdeen His feelings felt. Uh, 19 and a half minutes gone now. Still no scoring here at Ibrook Stadium. Perhaps a chance for the Dons. And it's Goku here in the serve him. And Aberdeen sensationally take the lead. Well, Brian Irvin, who had just come back onto the field, slams the ball beyond Andy Gorham. 19 minutes gone. The corner kick driven in, and Rangers will be unhappy about the loss of this one. Goff failed to get it away. Irvin drove it right through. Andy got him. Well, it's a great cross from Glass. He's teasing the defence. He gets the break of the ball, Irvin. But he's put it in the back of the net. He's had a great start to the match. Just coming back on after a, probably getting stitches in a headwind. Just gets power in his left foot. Andy Gorham can do nothing about it. Other than knock it up over Trevor Stevens' head. Great start from Aberdeen. A bit threatening at times without causing too much problem in front of the goal. Well, that certainly wasn't in the script. But, uh, Aberdeen stung by the criticism after the match against Celtic at Parkhead. And have certainly come here to give Rangers a game of it. But here's Loudrup. Loudrup trying to find an opening. Again, Rangers have the corner, and they'll want to get right back into this as quickly as possible. Well, Goff will be unhappy that he failed to get that cross away. Here's Gascoigne now, can he produce some magic? Still, it's Gascoigne! Oh, yes! A tremendous goal by Gascoigne! The perfect reply from Paul within two minutes it's Rangers 1 Aberdeen 1 what of it was who struck the corner kick just look at Gascoigne here past Dodge past Windus and past the goalkeeper fantastic play by Paul Gascoigne Rangers 1 Aberdeen 1 well you see before the game you look for big big time players to take a blow like going one down when the tension's on the air. It's absolute quality from Gascoigne. Big time player. Excellent skill. 